Hello, my name is Carissa and I am a senior at the University of Mary Washington in Fredericksburg, Virginia. I'm majoring in historic preservation, but this summer I'm spending my time at the Midway Village Museum as a collections intern. One of the projects I have been working on is finding American military uniforms in our textiles collection that were worn by service members in World War II. These uniforms will be used in a special exhibit for our Victory Day celebration, a fundraiser that supports history education while celebrating America's victorious conclusion to World War II. Midway Village Museum has an extensive collection of textiles. These are artifacts in the collection that you can wear, whether it be shoes, hats, fancy dresses and suits, or military uniforms. There are four main areas that textiles are kept. The workroom is where staff and volunteers maintain, clean, and organize the collection. It has storage for small pieces, a washer and dryer, and all the equipment and notions needed to keep the collection looking top notch. Adjacent to the workroom are two more climate controlled rooms that contain racks and shelves filled with textiles. Some of the collection is kept in nearby areas on the Midway Village campus. Some textiles are meant to be displayed in our exhibits, but many of them are used in the Victorian village in the buildings and are used by interpreters so that they can be dressed appropriately while they give tours or participate in special events. During World War II, as you may know, it was important for women to take industrial jobs while the men were off fighting in Europe and Japan. You may remember the famous recruiting campaign of Rosie the Riveter, Rockford was rich with industrial production, and locally, we did our part to support the war effort. This is an example of a jumpsuit that those women would wear while working at Woodward Governor, where airplane parts were manufactured. This jumpsuit, or coverall uniform, is embroidered with the name Olive, and Midway Village has two of these in their collection. This United States Army uniform was worn by a technician fourth grade in World War II. This soldier may also have been addressed as sergeant, but the rank insignia on uniforms differ from the presence of the block letter T. This rank was established in 1942 during the war. These non-commissioned officers often received higher pay due to the fact that they were trained in specialized skills more than the basic rifle or infantry soldier. More than 59,000 American nurses served in the Army Nurse Corps during World War II. They served under fire in the field hospitals and hospital ships and on transport trains and planes. This pink seersucker dress with light and flowy fabric is one of many different uniforms that they would wear to perform their duties during the war. The rank on this uniform is of second lieutenant, the lowest officer rank in the army. This United States Marine Corps dress blue uniform belongs to PFC Rodriguez and was worn in the era of World War II. Although Marines have not fought in actual combat in a uniform resembling this one since the Revolutionary War, it is still the most recognizable uniform of all the branches of service. It is worn for official and ceremonial purposes only. This particular uniform is quite small and leads us to believe that PFC Rodriguez was a small but mighty lean mean fighting machine with a frame standing no taller than 5'7". Thank you for visiting the textiles collection here at Midway Village Museum and for your continued support of Rockford's history.